Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of the Gentleman's Club. I am your host, Mark Antomati. And just judging by the title of the video, I think you may know what this is about at a glance. Recently, I've conducted a review over this one right here, the McKellen uh, 12 years old double cask. And somebody had left a comment on that video saying, Mr. Gentleman, can you please do cognac? Well, I'm a whiskey man myself, and uh, I feel it's a more multi-layered defined drink for me, but I'm willing to always get into something new and experience it with an open mind, so I picked up this one right here. So today is a very special video in which I do cognac brandy which is going to be a rarity because i don't think i'm going to do this quite often on this channel but uh why not why not it was requested of me and i thought a lot of people out there who are not into cognac or brandy would like to have some type of introduction into the foray of this uh spirits market out there so I have my handwritten notes here that I'm going to read from, from all the research that I conducted about this. And I'm going to go straight down the list and give you guys the entire spill about brandy. All right. So first of all, brandy is a spirit made by distilling wine, uh, whereas whiskey is made from... Uh, fermented grain mash, um, what is it that I want to say, such as uh, barley or corn, etc. This is made purely from wine. And like whiskey, the ABV, or alcohol by volume as they say, can get quite high, usually containing about 35% to 60% ABV, which is about 70 to 100 U.S. proof for my American uh, brethren out there. Uh, in order for a whiskey to legally be labeled whiskey, it needs to be distilled at a minimum 40% ABV. This one, minimum 35% ABV. Let me see, what else am I forgetting here? All right, so what's cognac, by the way? Uh, if I could put it out there like this, all cognac is brandy, but, all, but not all brandy is cognac. And what does that mean exactly? Well, very much like champagne, cognac is actually a place and it's a region within France. It's a very special region just as Champagne is a very special region within France. And the only type of uh, white wines that could call themselves Champagne have to specifically come from this region. If they don't come from that region of France, only in France, if it comes from anywhere else in the world, they cannot legally put the word champagne on their bottles. Only champagne uh, distillers can do that. And cognac is very much the same thing in the world of brandy. It is the champagne of brandy. Cognac comes from the special region of cognac. And only legally by law they are allowed to put their name on the bottle of cognac but it is brandy um brandy like wine and whiskey is aged in oak barrels and uh how do you have it well you have this straight up uh much like you would whiskey and it's usually an after dinner drink and it's served warm. 
And in fact, oftentimes it's a set of special glasses that you use that you can palm like this to help your palm to help heat it up even more. But it's always served at room temperature. You don't put ice inside of it. It's kind of blasphemous, just like I think it's kind of blasphemous that uh, whiskey drinkers put ice inside of there. Because originally, uh, on the rocks for whiskey, it comes from uh, people in Scotland trying to cool the whiskey by putting cold bed rocks inside of the whiskey to cool it, not necessarily ice. So that's where that phrase, on the rocks, comes from. But uh, this one, you don't put ice inside of it. And like whiskey, where we have these special nosing glasses, this one is the Glen Cairn glass. This is our own special glass made specifically for whiskey. Cognac, not cognac, brandy has its own special glass called the snifter. This is not a snifter glass. But it looks very similar to a snifter glass. This is the best glass that I possibly have for this purpose. This is just a Macallan whiskey glass, uh, like a tumbler. But the, the brandy glass is like this, but maybe a, a little bit wider and flatter. Just make sure you Google it, snifter glass on the internet. That way you can see what the glass may look like. Uh, let's see. So there are some special labels usually on brandy glasses. You can see I have this uh, bottle of Hennessy here and on the package it says very special. So sometimes you may see these labels on the packaging or the bottles that say uh, VS, VSOP, XO, or Ors Duage. And... Um, VS means very special or three stars. And this is the youngest brandy uh, matured for at least two years minimum inside of a cask. And then moving up from there, you have VSOP, which is very superior old pale, which has been aged inside of a cask uh, minimum for four years. And this one may also be called uh, five stars. EXO is extra old. Uh, and it's stored in a cask minimum six years. And then finally you have the top one, which is uh, ORS DUAGE, which is stored inside of a cask minimum ten years. So close these notes now and move this to the side. We're going to move this Glen Kern and this McKellen out of the way. Let's focus our studies on this. I'm going to open this up for the first time. And this is what this bottle looks like. Very, very fancy. Before I get this box out of the way by the way this one right here the Hennessy brand this is uh, made by the Moe uh, by the Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy uh, company it says Maison Hennessy has created extraordinary cognac since 1765 and Hennessy very special represents uh, the committee de dis Disgustations, unique expertise. Only the most distinctive. I can't even pronounce these French words. I don't want to butcher your language. Eau de vie are selected, which are then carefully matured for several years in oak casts and skillfully blended to reveal their warm, full bodied flavor. Savor the lively, fruity character of Hennessy. Very special, neat on ice or with. A mixer and then it has the same thing written in French and this is a 700 milliliter bottle and I believe this is 40% ABV
very beautiful bottle here got some nice embossing on there why did I choose Hennessy well I only had two choices inside of my local alcoholic store not very popular here in Japan not as much as whiskey is and the ones that are popular are only the brand name ones and Hennessy being one of them a very similar style of bottling to whiskey it looks like a screw cap but actually it's a cork you don't need any special utensils to pull this out just your hands just enough for a nice tasting there put the lid back on this one it's a nice dark rich color but I get the feeling that uh, I don't know how long they distill their cognac for but from what I read to you earlier at least a minimum of two years for very special I don't think two years is enough to get that nice color. I think that's caramel coloring inside of there to give it that uh, nice dark amber color. Look at the color on that bottle. Very caramelish amber color. little bit of a slight ethanol smell to it. It reminds me of a whiskey, but not much there in the terms of smell. Just what you would expect. Fruity. Maybe some type of uh, apples, perhaps. Very much like whiskey. Very warm on the tongue. No, sorry. I meant to say very light on the tongue. Getting my thoughts mixed up. It's very light on the tongue. This one is. When you swallow it down. It gives you a nice warm feeling going all the way down. Immediate aftertaste is not much of anything. But as I speak a little bit. Let it linger. Really rich and fruity. Extremely rich and fruity. Almost like. Wow, that is uh that's not that's not half bad. Very much like apples. Along with some some other nice rich fruits inside of there and as you go back for a second nosing after having a sip it's a lot better the second time very nice experience maybe I'll review some more of the more top brands inside the future but um, as it stands now for starting out into this foray of cognac I was pleasantly surprised and I was expecting not bad, but I was expecting worse than that 
experience that I had just had. That was that was a quite nice first experience into this into this field. Definitely left a good impression on me. And I would say if you're ever going to get started or would like to get started, go the same route I did. You can't go wrong with the Hennessy very special cognac. All right, gentlemen, that is it for this review. I would like to thank you once again for watching. Make sure, as always, you drink responsibly. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, gentlemen, keep it classy.